After a brief holiday layoff, basketball is back in session. Second half of the season starting up for the number 16 Lady Panthers visiting the University of Indianapolis for the first of many GLVC tests in 2015. And it didn't begin well for Drury. One of 11 to start the game for DU. The Greyhounds get out to a 10-2 lead. That didn't go over very well with Addie Roller, who was the spark that lit the flame for Drury. She wheeled her team back in it. Roller led Lady Panthers with 12 in the first half. Gets it to go here and the foul to you within three. You could feel the momentum starting to slip away from Indy. Shields nails the go-ahead jumper for DU. She had five boards in the first half. Lady Panthers keeping it going. Annie Armstrong shoots 41% from the three. She's left wide open. Guess what happens? That caps an 18-3 Drury run. DU up 20-13. Next possession, Indy did not learn its lesson. Another wide open three. This time it's Alice Heinzler. Greyhounds closed the gap to end the half, though. DU leading by one at the break. Drury didn't come out for the second half until 45 seconds to play. Molly Miller not happy with how her team ended the half. They responded. This is Paige Wilson. Didn't play much in the first half due to foul trouble. Not a problem for the sophomore. 11-0 run to start the half for Drury. Sonika Shields finished with 12.7 boards. One of three Lady Panthers in double figures with Roller. And this young lady, Heather Harmon. Harmon with three triples and 13 big second half points to key the Lady Panthers run. One from Rich the Greyhounds did not recover. Addie Roller, the big name for DU tonight, though. 17 points, five boards. DU holds Indy to under 40% from the field. Lady Panthers cruise past Indy 78-56 back in action Sunday afternoon against St. Joe's. Yeah, in the first half, I just feel like I wasn't aggressive enough, and I feel like we also need someone else who can be aggressive, so I just figured if I was that it would help everyone else become more aggressive, though, so that's what I tried to do today. Road wins are huge in this conference, so um, not only to get your first conference win on the road, but a, a good place at Indy. I mean, their tradition is storied and a and great school, and then, you know, we've got St. Joe, the best St. Joe team that I've ever seen um, coming up on Sunday, so, um, you know, to get that first win and build confidence going into another um, road game in the GLVC is huge.